Alright Pistons fans, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about Killian Hayes and should the Detroit Pistons bench Killian Hayes. Now, it's actually kind of shocking to me that we're already having this debate and the season hasn't even started yet. We just finished the preseason and we're already having this debate, but it is what it is. I've seen it in my comment session. I've looked on Instagram, Twitter. I've looked everywhere. I've seen the debate has already begun to bench Killian Hayes, put in someone like Saban Lee or put in someone like Corey Joseph. And I wanted to talk about it in this video. So before we get into that specifically, I want to put things into perspective for you guys. So I looked at some past NBA greats. One guy I'm going to mention first is Tony Parker, okay? And Tony Parker's rookie season, he put up nine points and four assists. Not 15 points, not 20 points, only 9 points and 4 assists. Let's look at someone like Monte Ellis. Now, I know Ellis was a mix between the 2 and the 1 guard at times, but just to mention him, another guard who became extremely successful, who started out a little bit rough, Monte Ellis. Only averaged 7 points in his rookie year, and then we know what he went on to become, a really talented scorer. And lastly, I want to mention Steve Nash. In Steve Nash rookie season, he averaged three points and two assists. So I'm mentioning all these players just to say that it is possible for a player to struggle in his rookie season or his second season in the NBA and then eventually pick it up and turn it around. Killian did struggle in his rookie year. I don't deny that. Now, there's some factors to that. You know, the injury, no summer league, no real training camp. He had the preseason, but we know that that was structured weirdly as well. There are factors and reasons as to why he struggled during his rookie year, but I will not deny that he did struggle and have issues and his stats were low. But just because his stats were low does not mean that he can't pick it up somewhere down the line. Just like Tony Parker did, Monte Ellis and Steve Nash, they all struggled early on, but then picked it up eventually. So that was the first point that I wanted to mention. Now, let's move on to the whole Saban Lee or Corey Joseph debate and benching Killian. Now, here's my thing. I want to give Killian Hayes a chance at least, okay? People forget that this man, he isn't even 21 years old yet. He's still extremely young and has potential. I want to at least give this man a chance to prove you guys wrong. So in my scenario, I would say, hey, 10, maybe 15 games. See how he plays in those first 10 to 15 games. Killian plays well and exceed expectations, then yes, you can continue to play Killian Hayes. But if he plays playing poorly, if he's making us lose basketball games, then I would admit that maybe you should switch things up. Maybe bench Killian Hayes for someone like Corey Joseph or another player, depending on how Dwayne Casey sees it. That's how I envision this type of thing happening. If Killian plays well, continue to let him play. If he struggles, then yes, bench him and let another guy go in and then make himself work his way back to the starting role. You know, you don't get handouts in the NBA. You don't be a starter just because you were drafted high in the draft. Killian does have to prove himself. So that's what I'm saying in this scenario. I believe that Casey should give Killian a chance, start him, and see how he does early on in the season. But don't just give him handouts. Don't just give him high minutes because he was top in the draft. Let's see what Killian can do. So that's basically my take on this whole situation, man. I firmly believe that Killian does have massive potential. I believe he can work with Kay Cunningham as a pass first point guard, a defensive point guard who currently does not have the offensive game, but as I showed you earlier with the other guys, Tony Parker, Monte Ellis, Steve Nash, he can eventually develop that part to his game. He's not Ben Simmons, okay? And even Ben Simmons, he could score the ball inside, but Ben Simmons in terms of, you know, shooting. Ben Simmons doesn't attempt three pointers. Killian at least does that for us, you know, he has something to work on. I wish he was more aggressive. I wish he was aggressive as Saban Lee, but he's not. At the same time, he at least attempts three-pointers. He attempts floaters. He misses a lot of them, but at least he attempts things and he has something to build off of. So I do believe that down the line, he can develop his game to somewhere around 14, 15 points eventually. Now, if Killian does turn out to be a bust, I'll flat out admit it. I'm not someone like Stephen A or any of the top media guys who just refuse to admit when they're wrong. If Killian turns out to be a bust, I'll fully admit that. Come on my channel and say I was completely wrong about Killian Hayes. But I don't see that happening. I see Killian having success on the Pistons. But Pistons fans, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 3K, and I'm out.